Eelgrass is a seagrass. It is vegetation, submerged, what we call submerged aquatic vegetation. It grows in the near shore area of Puget Sound, primarily. Eelgrass is important for Puget Sound and the critters that live in it because it provides, like kelps do, three-dimensional habitat. If you look at a terrestrial system, organisms live, and they live in the tree, around the tree, and everything else, and that's what eelgrass provides on the, the substrate on the bottom. When the tide's in, it kind of stands up and floats around. It offers attachment sites for really tiny organisms on it. It takes up nutrients that are in the water column and turns them into biomass. So in some areas, it can actually take nutrients out of the water, and that's a benefit. It shelters zooplankton, which are tiny, tiny little crustaceans uh, that juvenile fish eat and that other organisms eat. It provides shelter for probably some snails, for crabs. I mean, a whole lot of things live in there because it provides them shelter. And it also keeps the substrate, the sediments within the sound in those areas kind of in place. By removing the habitat that juvenile fish and invertebrates rely on, you're basically affecting uh, everything on up the food chain. You're also talking about affecting economies that rely on those on those species, salmon in particular. So you know you're having a det detrimental effect on the fishing economy of the state when you remove eelgrass and in turn remove uh, important habitat for juvenile salmon. <laughs>